What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I'm a certified personal trainer and I post all things health, fitness, and my lifestyle on here on Instagram and on TikTok. So make sure you're subscribed and follow along. You can probably tell by the title of today's video, but I'm going to be taking you guys through my leg day. And these are like my favorite videos to film because I just love leg days so freaking much. And I'm also gonna be talking about my slight training changes and adjustments that I've been making to help me achieve the very specific physique goals I have leading up to my wedding. If you missed it in previous videos, I am trying to somewhat grow, but mainly lift and shape my glutes. So I'm currently going through an eight week build phase that I programmed out for myself. I am on week two, so I started last week. And if it is successful, don't worry, I will be sharing it with you guys. But yeah, I really just wanna talk about those slight changes that I've been making to my training split. I'm keeping the exact training split, but slightly changing the actual workouts, sets, reps, exercises, just to better set me up for success in reaching those goals. And like I said, I started this eight week build phase last week. Today is actually Monday, so it marks the start of week two. And so far, I'd say the biggest adjustments that I've made to my training would be slightly cutting back on my low intensity steady state cardio and like my steps in general. You guys know me, I don't do any hit or any intense cardio or intense running. I'll jog like two or three miles here and there, typically like once a month, maybe once every other month. I really just stick to walking and incline walking. However, if I'm walking and incline walking too much, it can be very counterproductive if I'm trying to build muscle. So I've made a conscious effort to cut back on that. I was incline walking three to four times a week because I would incline walk on my upper body days. And then I would also sometimes incline walk on my active recovery days, but I've cut that back and I'm allowing myself a maximum of two 30 minute incline walks each week. And then of course I do my daily three mile walk, but I am getting in less steps per week than I used to. And once again, I don't even really pay attention to that, but I am making a conscious effort to not walk as much. Like even if I want to get outside and get a walk and I'm like, no, we are trying to build the glutes just relax so that is one change I've made I've also started implementing a glute activation circuit before all my leg days and I really do think it's helping because my glutes have been extra sore and I love that because typically I wouldn't ever feel sore in my glutes like it's really hard for me to actually target them so I think that this glute activation circuit is making a big difference and you guys will see it in this video and then I've also made my upper body days even shorter like they're the quickest workouts ever and I honestly love it because I have so much upper body muscle it really doesn't take much to maintain what you have and if anything I would love if they would just continue leaning out like I'm so proud of how far they have come and I'm really just pleased with my results thus far. But those would be the top three adjustments I've made. And then obviously I've changed the exercises slightly, the sets and reps. You guys will see it all today because I am taking you through my exact leg day. So for my warm-ups, I always start with a five minute walk on the treadmill. I used to do an incline walk, but now I pretty much just keep it flat or like a maximum of 5%. Then I got into some lower body active stretches. Active stretches are stretches you move through. So as you can see here, I'm kind of doing what I like to call a lunge series, where I am pressing forward in the lunge, diagonally in the lunge, and then also sideways in the lunge. This has helped my hip flexors like crazy whenever I am squatting with a barbell on my back or even barbell front squats, it has seriously made such a huge difference. So I try to move through this three to five times on each leg, lunging each way. And then after going through this lunge series, I like to take a side to side groin stretch, just kind of keeping my weight in one leg, shifting it to the other, going back and forth a few times, trying to stay as low as possible and get as deep into that stretch as I possibly can. After that, I move into a stretch I like to call groin hamstring stretch. Stretch. basically start in this pike position with your feet kind of straddled about shoulder width apart start with your hips up then drop your butt between your heels keeping your heels flat on the ground the entire time elbows pressing out on your knees then I move into some of these hamstring pulsing stretches basically just bending down pulsing it out reaching side side and middle and then lastly I finished up with some hamstring sweeps for this, you wanna keep one leg straight out in front as you bend down, sweeping your hands against the ground. This stretches your hamstring like crazy. After that, I got into my glute activation. Like I mentioned, this is the new addition to my leg days. So I start with a pretty high resistant booty band right above my knees, and I start with some lateral walks. Notice how I didn't say lateral squat walks. 
I actually find that I feel this more in my glutes if I just have a very, very minimal bend in my knees, but keep the resistance on the band the entire time. I don't know why, but I feel this so much more in my glutes than if I were to do an actual lateral squat walk where I'm lower in the squat. You can tell here I am already feeling it in my glutes and I like to just go back and forth my garage a few times. And a key here is whenever you need a rest when you're doing this glute activation circuit, don't give your glutes a rest. So you'll see here I stand. As I'm standing here, I am squeezing my glutes like crazy. After those lateral walks, I like to go into monster walks. Once again, just down and back across my garage. So on these, you're kind of stepping forward and out, keeping that resistance on the band the entire time. And then I'm reversing that exact same motion. And once again, I just went down and back the garage twice on this. I think a key is really finding a booty band that works for you and that actually challenges you because those small, super thin, like elastic ones don't do anything and don't actually warm up my glutes at all. But these thicker, more fabric ones are so difficult and burn so much. Like even here, I had to take a break, squeeze those glutes before walking back in those monster walks. And then the final glute activation exercise I did might look a little bit funny, but I'm keeping that band right above my knees. And I actually just do some little plyometric hops but while I'm doing these hops, I'm thinking about pressing out on that resistance band the entire time, not letting my knees cave in at all. And then moving into the lift, I started with five sets of 10 barbell back squats. So for all my workouts, I'm kind of focusing on a hypertrophy style of training. So I'm using very moderate weight, but higher sets and rep ranges. And on these, I'm really focusing on perfect form, my depth and very slow controlled movement. Next up, I moved into three sets of eight each leg barbell deficit reverse lunges. I personally like to do all eight reps on one leg, then switch and do all eight reps on the other. As you can see, the weight is racked on my back and I am standing on a 45 pound bumper plate to add that deficit. And while I am pushing to stand out of this lunge, I am thinking about keeping all my weight in my heel to target my glutes. Next up, I moved into five sets of 12 barbell hip thrusts, pushing through my heels and squeezing my glutes at the top of each rep to once again, target those glutes. And lastly, I finished up with three sets of eight each leg dumbbell B stance RDLs. You may have noticed, but there were no supersets in this leg day. And that's actually something I've been testing out during this eight week build phase. And so far I am loving it on these weight stays in your front leg, back leg acts as a kickstand as you hinge at your hips, sending your butt back with a slight knee bend. I personally feel these way more in my glutes when using dumbbells. And to cool down, I finished up with another five minute walk, no incline or anything crazy, just a chill pace, getting my heart rate back down. And I'm going to be honest, I really should have stretched, but I didn't. All right, leg day done. I am a sweaty, gross mess. I need to go chug a protein shake and then jump in the shower. But that workout took just around the same amount of time my typical leg days take. So a little bit over an hour, including my warm up and cool down. Just obviously a slightly different setup as you guys just saw. And I am loving these workouts. I know it's not that different, but the slight adjustments are really making a difference in like how I feel and my glutes are on fire, okay? So that is giving me hope and I really think these next eight weeks are gonna be super successful. And if they are, like I said, I will share them with you guys. So stay tuned. Also, like I mentioned earlier, if you do wanna see a dedicated upper body day or even like a full week of workouts throughout this build phase, just let me know. I'd be happy to film those videos for you guys. But for now, I'm gonna wrap up this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.